So here are five ways how to earn money as a foreigner in the Philippines. Working with the local embassy. Working with your local embassy is a great option if you have the right skills and qualifications and you wish to earn money while living in the Philippines. The great thing about working with an embassy is that you are situated in the popular areas of the Philippines and you also have many benefits including long-term visa support. Investing in the Philippine stock market. Investing in the Philippine stock exchange exchange can be started with as little as 1,000 pesos. There is a company called COL Financial and they take care of all the domestic tax so that you can legally earn dividend payments from your stock. Rent out your real estate. Buying and renting real estate in the Philippines is a common method for foreigners who are looking to earn money in the Philippines. To maximize profits, most investors advise purchasing at the early stages of a development such as just after the letter of intent stage. Condos are property types that foreigners can own fully, however there are other options available if you're willing to put the property on a business name or a Filipino name. Creating a blog, podcast or YouTube channel. There are many different types of channels. A recent channel that I came across was simply walking around the Philippines and this channel received thousands of views on each video. The videos are great as it shows people what life is like on the streets in the Philippines, but it takes no skill so just about anybody can do it and the good news is is that there are many content ideas similar to this to choose from starting a business in the Philippines if you are earning money from outside of the Philippines you will be able to legally start a business in the Philippines much cheaper than other businesses so these are the five ways how to earn money as a foreigner in the Philippines if you wish me to cover any subject in more detail or you have any questions please let me know in the comments and I will do a follow-up video. Additionally, today's video has not been financial advice and as always we recommend speaking to an independent financial advisor.